Do you know how excited I am to do this video? Like 10? Like out of this world. I was trying to think of the fun. Hey, hey guys. guys. It you feels didn't think so that right. was going anywhere. No, it couldn't. Never. Someone was like, I was thrown off for the entire video. No. If you don't know what we're talking about, so bad feng shui. Go watch our last video. <gasps> Today we are doing something that we haven't really seen anybody do before. It's I, kind of. I've seen a couple videos touching on the topic, but not tip. really what we're going for. Yes. It's a play on the full face challenges a la highlighters. I've seen some people do highlighters and glitter. Yes. So it's kind of like taking that, but bringing in a whole new genre of makeup called holographic, AKA unicorn, AKA magic, AKA I'm so excited. It's everywhere. We have scoured Ulta, Sephora, interwebs, and today we're gonna do a full face as much as we possibly can using holographic prismatic -y, galaxy S makeup. makeup. So if you enjoy our videos, or these types of videos, give us a thumbs up. And if you love holographic stuff, let's get it out up. of this world on the likes. 15,000 for holographic awesomeness and unicorns and glitter. glitter. Also, don't forget to subscribe because that automatically enters you in to possibly win a MacBook. And also, air. air. And also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Yeah, because then you're notified when we upload in the event that YouTube's doing some trickery and preventing you from seeing it. Fun fact and PSA of this video, hugs, not drugs. Not drugs. <laughs> that was the cutest, most flattering angle to do that. And these are at our store, madisonandmallory.com. If you didn't know, we have a store that we run together with the help of Erin. Where are we starting with this look? First things first. Oh, we gotta moisturize. We have to moisturize. Okay, now this is the Tarte Brighter Days, and it is a highlighting moisturizer. Yeah. We pretty much, if there wasn't something in that category for super holographic-y, we went for the most luminous that we could find. Yeah, and this is like... But this one, when you put it on your finger, it gives you that like pinky back kind of glow Iridescent, look. for sure. All over the Like, faces. as soon as I rub it in, I can see like a pinky purpley nose, yeah. so. I feel like after I use my beauty blender for this, I'm not gonna need it again. Okay, we're gonna try the L'Oreal Pro, Pro Glow, I can't speak, Pro Glow since it's already kind of dewy. And we're gonna mix in the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. Oh, you know what I wanna do? In the color Actually, Halo. I wanna drip it on my face. Well, you can drip this too. You can take this and go. Okay, you drip that, I'm gonna drip this. Oh no, oh no, no you have to go fast. Does it run? Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, oh my God, this is giving me it's life. It's running away, hurry. How much shake well before you, I already did that, okay. This says holographic drops, oh my gosh. Hurry, it's gonna run down my face. Oh no! Oh my God, is that too much? No. Oh my God, you guys. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't the best Ooh. way to do it. Holy moly. <laughs> No, I'm a, like a holographic leopard. <gasps> Look at me. <laughs> it's really fun. Yeah. I do think I need to add in some full coverage foundation to make this stick a little better. Really? Yeah. I'm so illuminated. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure that I'm covered. Definitely illuminated. I feel like a grease ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely probably not gonna set. I don't know if that's super pale or if it's um, the reflection of the holographicness. Prime the eyes. And this is just because we want all the holographic awesomeness to stick. So just a normal eye primer. We should go to lunch with these looks on. And by lunch, I mean our break room. I mean, or we could go to Cece's. Shut oh my up. gosh, what would Scott say? We're on a first name basis with the guy who manages our Cece's, no big deal. This is gonna be big trial and error. We're just gonna start experimenting. Lots okay. of error. I'm gonna use this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow and Meow. I'm just gonna start doing. Oh, I forget ColourPops are weird and like wet and smushy. Not either. I'm just gonna use the Alchemist palette. I'm gonna go with this pink opal and see what it does in my eyelids. I feel like it's like doing something on my eyelid. I don't know. Like I feel like my skin is like warming up the color or something. It's interesting. Okay, but now I just wanna spend the rest of my day sticking my finger in this ColourPop palette. Gonna have glitter all over my face. That's just my yeah. new reality. I'm gonna see what's in this Urban Decay Moon Dust. Okay, we're doing Galaxy because holographic out of this worldness. Do y'all want to see more bold color looks? I'm gonna touch this. <laughs> I'm gonna touch this granite color and see what it looks like. All right, we're gonna try these ColourPop highlights recipe for your cheeks. I'm gonna figure something out with this. We're gonna, we're gonna build something. With I'm it. gonna put Vega, this like hot blue purple color under my lash line. I feel like I could have also used these wet and that might've been a better option. This is why I stick to what I know, dude. Makeup is hard, right? Right. How are those doing? Not well, they're just straight cream. Everything that I was doing before I'm changing again. <laughs> 
I feel pretty good about what's right. happening here. I mean, it's just like... I'm gonna try granite on my lid, but I don't know. What did you use on your lid? I think I want to try to put the Alchemist over what I'm doing to oh. see if I can make it a little bit more hollow -y. I'm gonna put this Alchemist stuff over. Ooh, I like that it tells you what the color is because you can't really tell. The ultraviolet amethyst color on my lid and it might not do anything. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Stephanie, you have to do this. Oh my gosh, whatever you put down, put this over it. I wanna go under the line with, since I have blue, kind of, I'm gonna do the blue sapphire color. Okay, I'm gonna take blue. We'll see if it shows up on this one. I'm gonna try the pink one in the center. So I, I know one thing's for sure. I'm gonna have to wash my makeup brush after this. Third time's a charm. I'm gonna use the Super Shock Shadow and Meow that Tracy used. I can't get anything to show up or play nicely. Okay, I think I need a highlight on my brow bone because we just don't have enough going on on this eye. So I'm gonna do the Alchemist Green Emerald color. I kind of feel like a peacock. Totally should have looked for holographic lashes. Do you think that's a thing? I don't know. Put the pink opal in my inner corner. I'm gonna put a little bit of the pink in the inner corner because it's the lighter one. That's what I did. What's in my eye? I'm gonna go blue in the center. They all look the same. That's why I'm not really showing them. Yeah, in the palette, they just kind of look white and chalky. Apparently just decided I wanted to use all of them because I'm gonna use green on the outer area. For eyeliner, I'm gonna try this NYX Cosmic Gel Liner in Infinite Star. It's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna take this little purpley one under my eyes and see what it looks like. It's magnetic. I don't know about you. Not good? I mean... I'm gonna do the ultraviolet one under my eyes. We'll see. It's really insane without any kind of like... My eyes look like clown eyes right now and they look sad. It's like crumbling all over my face, you guys. What can I put in my crease? What did you use for your crease? I kinda wanna use granite. Are these cream? I think so. They say you can use them wet. I don't recommend this cosmic gel liner. It's so interesting, the texture of these eyeshadows. Cray cray, the fallout is real. I figure it just adds to the overall holographiciness on our faces. <laughs> Pink opal for a highlight, right? That works. I did it in my inner corner, so why not? <laughs> you look holographic-y. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what did you do, eyeliner? Mm-hmm. It's fun. Maybe I need to do a glitter top coat. Probably. I'm gonna do eyeliner now. Yeah, glitter, liquid crystal liner top coat. That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. Ready. Because oh, no. it didn't seem like it wanted to show up on its own, like this liquid crystal. This is like adding a dimension of holographicness. Oh, this is hard. Yes, it is. For eyebrows, I'm going to take this teal eyeliner pencil and I'm gonna go back with some of the holographic like powders or whatever and see what it does. So, oh my gosh. I mean, if you think about some of the colors that are in like holograph, you, you get like pinks and teals and greens and silvers and whatever. Yeah. Oh, I'm loving this. She's loving it. She's gonna add some glitter. If you can't tell, definitely not like a how to wear your makeup. Totally. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's a fun challenge on <laughs> trying to make our faces look holographic -y. And I can't wait to see other people attempt it and kill it. I'm not putting this under my eyes. If you do, tag us and let us know so we can check it out. I just figure with this stuff, this glitter eyeliner, it's like the more, the more. The better. Y'all, I have teal oh, brows. It, all of my dreams and wishes are coming true right now. Maybe I want fiery eyebrows like that. Cause it kind of looks like eyebrow color. Okay, That's pretty right. pretty. We're going with this. I need to go over that with some of this stuff. This could be a mistake. We're gonna do the blue sapphire color since it's kind of a blue. I to work so bad, but it's like my eyebrows won't take it. I'm trying to get them to, but they're being really resistant. So I'm gonna do blue sapphire at the front. We're gonna like gradient it. Okay, then we're gonna go the purple color next. That teal undertone might just be too strong. And I'm gonna finish it with the pink opal. I feel like this is a mix of a challenge and a how not to wear makeup. I do too, I do too, I do too. Yeah. But you can tell with our serious tone that we're trying and not just trying to make it look like a total stupid, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm really trying to make it look holographic -y. Slash, if I was going Co Coachella, I would straight up rock this, okay? Yeah. Like, look at I my eyebrows right now. I more or less wear it to the really fun. That's fun. I just hey. want you to get it more like filled oh, in. I'm not done. This yeah, side. yeah, that's We're really done. pretty actually. Is it dual chromey? Yeah, that's why I used it because I felt like it oh, kind of gave like a It looks orange and pink. Key. It's really pretty. I feel like my eyebrows, when the light hits it, kind of meets it out. So it kind of gives me that like, you know when people like blonde out their eyebrows or shave them? Yeah. It's kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. But I like what's happening here. Should I mascara while we're here? And then you can hit it. We got the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 
but we got the one from their unicorn line. We got a lot of their unicorn stuff. We haven't really we been using it. it, but yeah, we purchased. Um, we purchased everything except the like the moon dust, moon palette, dust, the urban K liquid things. Yeah, but so that stuff we had from yeah. PR stuff. Okay, this was because I looked for a holographic mascara. I swear, you guys, and there used to be one. I think was it Sephora. I don't know. There was a brand that had holographic mascara. I think it was when Sephora did the Pantone stuff one year. Okay. And that was like 2013. So this is like an ode, like a little tribute to holographic there mascara. There was also holographic eyeliner, but it was Catrice and I think it was in Denmark or somewhere. It wasn't yeah. here. This is a holographic packaged mascara. Yeah. So I thought we could use this. And then if you want to add some like, you could even tip it with the Alchemist palette <gasps> if you want. I'm gonna try. And like kind of DIY your own. Icy? Yeah, your own so mascara. So I need to do one at a time. I'm just gonna look like a frosty eyed guy. Goddess. We're gonna do the right eye. I just wanna add something to my eyebrows, but I don't know what. Could I add a color from the Alchemist? You could do the, like the pink opal color. Oh, I've got glitter and holographic is all over me. Okay, let's do the pink opal. All my brushes are so dirty. That's I only look. have one eye done right now. I kind of did to my eyebrows what I was talking about doing to um, my eyelashes. Okay, what do you think? Is that stupid? No, it's kind of cool actually. If nothing else, this is turning to like a full face unicorn makeup look. Yeah, like if I lived in a magical land of unicorns yes. and like this is how we did our makeup. Why can't yeah. we do our makeup like this? Oh my God. But should I take photos for Madison and Mallory like this? <gasps> You wouldn't. But I should. I think right now my favorite thing, which I was not anticipating doing, I hadn't even thought about eyebrows, but my eyebrows right now my eyebrows, eyebrows too. Yeah. I think they're fun, they look icy. Yeah. Never underestimate the power of makeup and doing awesome things with it and like, it will come together. Now we're gonna love colorful, colorful makeup and all of the people that said that we don't ever do it are gonna get so tired of it. Cause I'm gonna come in with like unicorn makeup all the time. Y'all, this Alchemist palette come in clutch. Oh my, my God, my pants, too. the wrong day to wear black pants y'all covered in glitter. The best thing about the Alchemist palette is that it's it like makes anything holographic. What also color did take you this, use? Oh, the purple. I'm also gonna take this glitter liner and just like, yes, Gaga, hold on to your pants. Look at it, 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 look, 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 look. Ooh. Right? The glitter. Ready. Don't do what I'm doing because I'm putting glitter all around my eyes and that might not be safe, but oh my God, yeah. I'm making a cute face. My eyes are really angry at me. This is itchy. Itchy, itchy nose. I can see the glitters. Ah! <laughs> Dang it. Oh, it's all right, I caught it with my hair. Wow, well, okay. I need glitter too. Oh my God, I'm living for this. We don't have any kind of contour. We should do a Oh, we do. Could you like a dark contour and then and then put Alchemist? Alchemist. Stop. I thought about that. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay, I'm using Smashbox contour and then we're going to go back what like she said and you know, put some alchemist on it. Use shade and light, cause she's Kat Von D. I feel so wrong to put brown on my face right now. I know. Alchemist, what can we use from that? What do you think will be the most, the best color for cheeks? I just kind of like the purple the most. Cause I it know. looks the most holographic. I know. So let's just do that. Our unicorn brushes <coughs> and the purple. Shoot! Shoot! See? <laughs> I'm dropping everything. Is this gonna look like a highlight? Probably. You know what? But Kona is like a, like a, like it keeps it. Um, it still stays dark. Yeah. It's not really a highlight. Mm -mm. It's interesting, you guys. Yeah. It literally holographics anything. Yeah, it does. Maybe we do a blush color and then top coat it. <laughs> blush, we're gonna top coat it. So I use that pink color. How to do holographic makeup. Get a holographic palette like Alchemist and just top all of your makeup with it. I'm gonna go pink opal. Well, I feel like it only makes sense for deep blush. Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like a flipping unicorn. By the end of this video, this is going to be gone. I know, it's like how we hit pan on our Kat Von D Alchemist palette in one video. <laughs> okay, milk makeup! Okay, this is the Supernova. Mm, oh! Sold out everywhere. Yeah, we had to get it on the internet. Where do I put this? On your highlight cheeks. Here, 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 here. 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 Okay, uh, do I just rub it on there? Yeah. That feels so wrong. Oh my God, Did it do anything? I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of feeling, yeah, yeah, look. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you'd probably see this more if my entire cheek was not highlighted, but where's the fun in that? I never feel right doing cream. Highlight, Highlight me either. I feel like it just wipes off my makeup. Yeah, agreed, agreed, agreed. Oh, prismatic. We're not done with the, you thought we were done with holographic. We've got all kinds of products open here. Prismatic amethyst. I mean, I think it's like kind of like the opaly color. I feel like I'm getting a very distinct line from having the liquid. I, like, I wanna do some of this wet in a while because I feel like it gives me even more of like 
crazy clean. I don't even know. But we gotta put like a base lip color on and then we're gonna top it with a fun it's color. Kind of like so. the Alchemist palette for lips. Yeah, I'm gonna just put on like a nude, like normal My Lips color. Yeah, so I'm using Bare Minerals Baps. Well, I'm gonna use this one because this one's a little darker. It's the Kat Von D one in Lovesick. It's a little pinker. All right, we are going to apply the top coat. The Vice Special Effects in White Lie. Okay, I think that we totally finished our full holographic makeup. I feel like looking at us, we have kind of like a statue, metal-y type look. Nailed it. This lip stuff feels kind of weird though. Like it's dry and weird. Yeah, like when I put my lips, like when they touch, it like strings apart. I'm not mad at I'm it. I'm not either. I think it's really fun and festival -y. Festival. Yeah. Where would you wear this look? I would totally rock it at a festival yeah. or Halloween. <laughs> okay guys, if you love our unicorn holographic full face makeup, give it a thumbs up, share it everywhere and take funny pictures of us and you know, tag it something, hot mess unicorns, yeah. something. Yes. If you choose to do it, show us. And if you want, other YouTubers to try it, be sure to tell them do it. The holographic makeup Mention challenge, us. full face. Yeah. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss out on our future videos. And we're going to see you guys on Saturday. We sure will. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. If you want to see more videos like this one, click the video on the right. And if you missed our previous video, click the video on the left. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the circle in the center.